Hey guys, it's Sasha and I'm bringing you my July and August book haul. No, no, it's not book haul. It's wrap up. Hey guys, it's Sasha and today I'm bringing you my July and August wrap up. I did film a July wrap up, but I did not like it. So here I am putting them both together because I did nothing else apparently in July and August than not film videos. Here I am back with my wrap up and it is a big one. So strap yourself in because it's going to be a bumpy ride. So the first book I read in July was Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. This was for the Tome Topple readathon which I didn't complete but I gave this four stars. It was a nice sequel to the uh, Assassin's Apprentice, which is the first book in the Farsia trilogy. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed um, where Fitz is going and I cannot wait to read the third book because something happened at the end that I just, I need to know now why and how and just, whew. This was an adventure and if you love adventure books, I really suggest picking these books up because there's like magic and world building and and like if you like assassins this is the og assassin book so just go pick it up so the next book i picked up was batgirl volume one batgirl and burnside it was a comic book that i found at the library and it was all right i liked the drawings and the colors and the storyline was okay i really felt like it jumped a lot and i had no idea where we were going with it it didn't really tie it up in the end either so i really enjoyed my ride it was confusing but my experience was like a three stars now in july we also had the book buddy a thon which i did with abby lucy the book lover i will link her down below but the first book we picked up for that was everland by wendy spinale this book is a Peter Pan retelling in a Stormpunk? Stonepunk? Storm? Steampunk. So this is a steampunk retelling of Peter Pan and it was okay. You could kind of see all of the plot twists that was coming. Yeah, I don't think I will continue on with this series. I gave this book a three stars. The next book I picked up for the book buddy a was The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Arie. This was my favorite book out of July. Like, I loved it so much. And it was like my first five star book since February. And I just couldn't believe that I was not reading good books. And I'm so excited I'm back into that groove again. This book is amazing. It's another retelling. It's a Thousand and One Nights retelling. And <sighs> Shazi is amazing. I love Shazi so much. I want to be her best friend. Khaled too, like he was, like he's such a sweetheart. He put on this like big like Bleh. But he's like just a, like a soft cookie center. He's like a cookie. He's hard on the outside, but nice and soft and crumbly in the inside. And I gave this book five stars and it was amazing. And I cannot wait to pick up The Rose and the Dagger because like, I need to know where they end up. Like they've split apart in the end of this book and I just, I want to see them reunite. The next book I picked up for the book buddy a -thon was The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Well, it's not by William Goldman. He abridged it. This book, like the whole time I was just imagining the movie and it was good. Like I prefer the movie to the book because William Goldman like does all this stuff in the middle of it. You're like, just shut up and get back to the story, please. Um, I gave it three stars. I enjoyed bits and pieces of it, but the ending was a bit eh. Yeah, there's really not much else that I can really talk about this book. Now, the next book I read was actually another favorite of July. I just, I was on a roll with my five-star reads. Like, not, it wasn't really a roll because I only had two five-star reads in July. But this was Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. This book, oh my god. It is a sci-fi and a state retelling and it is amazing. Like, I wrote a review which I will film later on, so you will be able to see that. I'll link it all down below when it does come up. You know the story of Anastasia, so you're going to know that the main character is obviously the Lost Princess, but just I love how the author has, like, done a twist on it. I liked trying to figure out who the characters were from the original story, like Dimitri and Vlad. I loved all the representation in this book. Like you've got wives and you've got like lots of love in it, but it's also lots of action and you've got suspense and you, oh, please, please pick this book up. If you listen to anything I tell you, can it be the one thing is just pick up Heart of Iron because you will not 
regret it. And the last book I read for Book Buddy-a-thon, I half listened on audiobook and then I picked up the rest of it because it was the last day and that was Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Now this is a Cinderella retelling but it's like geeky and it was so cute and I loved, I just loved everything about this book. I gave it four stars but still it was adorable and it was just what I needed. Like it's contemporary but you had all of like the sci-fi aspects of the TV show that the main character loves and Dorian. Oh my god, Dorian is so cute. The one thing I didn't like though, okay, so the whole time she's hating on the guy who's been cast as the main character of the movie remake of the TV series that she loves. She doesn't know that she's texting him, like she's doing an ominous texting, but like when they actually finally meet and they realize who each other are, she's just like, oh my god, I love you. I hate him. I hate him so much. Oh, you're the guy that I've been texting. Oh, I love you. Like, that was like the one thing I didn't like about this book. That's why it's only four stars. But... All right, so that was the end of Book buddy -a -thon, and then like two days later, Book Trubathon started. So the first book I read for Book Trubathon was The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I had already watched this movie like years ago, so I, I knew what was going to happen, but it was nice reading it. It was great to see an unreliable narrator, and because you actually had no idea, was it her or was it someone else? It was just... Whew. I won't give too much away because it's obviously a thriller and if I tell you what happens then that is a story over. I gave this book four stars and I really think like if you like thrillers, if you like mysteries, this is one of the token books that you should pick up. So that was all the books that I read in July but like I said Girl on the Train was the first book I read for Book Trubathon. So now we're going to go into August and finish up Booktubeathon. So the next book I read for Booktubeathon was The Awakening by L.J. Smith. This is the first book in the Vampire Diaries. This was for the challenge Wear a Hat, I believe. And like if you see my vlog, like I actually wore the hat every time I read this and I was so proud of myself. I gave this book three stars. It was alright. Like I didn't realise how much of a stalker Damon was. And like the insta-love between Stefan and Elena was just kind of cringy. It was enjoyable. Like I will be reading the rest of the series because I told myself like I need to because I have all of them up there. There's no point just keeping them on my shelves to collect dust. Now the next book I read for Booktubeathon was actually an audio book and I listened to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh my god that was a five-star read. It was amazing. I loved it so much and like I just like I want to be Evelyn because like who doesn't want to be Evelyn? This book is about like she's like a Hollywood movie star from like the 20s. It's now like 2017. She's been donating all these like dresses to charity because they're like iconic dresses that she's worn. This journalist has been told that she has been handpicked by Evelyn herself to write about that. So she shows up and Evelyn's like lol joke I want you to write my biography for me. And she's like, what? But it was really awesome hearing how Evelyn started all the way from, so like from the first husband all the way to the seventh husband. And it was sad. It will break your heart. But it was also the most amazing read that I read in August. Like, this is another book that I think you should pick up. Like, if you're not a sci-fi fan, if you're more of a contemporary where you just need to know who this person's love of her life was, then pick up Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because you will not regret it. Now the next book I read for Booktubeathon was Marked by PC and Kristen Cast. I gave this two stars. It was so cringy and annoying and the main character, she thought she was better than everyone else but she was also not like other girls. Like she was clumsy and she was not as pretty as them but she was still better than them. Ugh. I do have the whole series that I need to read but I really don't know if I want to anymore. Like I want to find out more about this world and how it like how everything happens but I don't want to read it from Zoe's perspective like she was annoying and I just I just don't want to do it anyway um don't pick this book up all right so book troopathon has finished and then I um actually had started this book before book troopathon and I wanted to finish it in that like two days between the two readathons but I didn't so then I picked it up after book troopathon finished and that book was love hate and other filters by Samira Ahmed like I thought it was about this girl who'd already in college 
and she's in New York and then this terrorist attack happens and the terrorist has the same last name as her and she has to deal with that like in college. But no, the girl's still in high school and the terrorist attack happens in New York and she's in some like backwards town and like it was a good take on racism but it was just not as good as the hate you give like I was I don't know why I was expecting like the hate you give that's what my expectations were but they really fell short because it was more focused on the romance than anything there's one sentence that really like got me and actually it's not even from the book it's from the author's note so the author's in a traffic jam and she's only eight years old at the time and like she looks outside and like this guy next to her like like this adult two adult men are in this car and he looks at her and he yells go home you goddamn Iranian the girl this eight-year-old girl was stunned and she's like why did this man think we were Iranian couldn't he tell we were Indian and it was just like boom like I'm like whoa this book is gonna be amazing like it made me look into myself and try and think and try to like what do I need to change about myself so that I can be more open to people that live here that will obviously be in those situations because it's happening all around the world now and like they're people too you just need to love them and need to be open and yeah so that's my TED talk I gave Love, Hate, and Other Filters three stars. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Can you say hello to everyone? Hello. Yes, this is Mummy's library. Have you been in here before? You have, but not for a while. This will one day be yours. Say bye. Nope. Say bye. So August was the month for audiobooks because I listened to Undead Girl Gang by someone. And it was a really enjoyable story. Like I had no idea there was going to be like witchy vibes to it but like I really should have realized because it's like undead girl gang I really went into it blind I just saw the cover I'm like oh my god this looks amazing and like the narrator was all right but the main character like Mila she was it's kind of annoying like she had this like best friend that she brought back from the dead but the best friend was such a bitch like I just didn't understand how they were best friends when like it's like she didn't want to be brought back but still like I just did not like that and the two other girls like they were like the token mean girls and there really was like no depth to them at all <laughs> that's just Elijah in the background it was good but it wasn't amazing and that's why I only gave it four stars I finally finished The Diviners by Libba Bray now I started this back in July and it was from the library and I had ran out of renewable loans for it because I just kept trying to renew it because I just never had time to listen to it. But then I finally listened to it. So good. The narration was like top notch, like 10 out of 10 stars for narration. And I just, I loved Evie and I loved everyone in this story. I love the gang and I can't wait to read the next one or listen to that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I know that I really want a hardcover copy for myself i only gave it four stars because like there were some things i was like eh but overall it was a really good story and i am thankful that sarah without an h just always raves about this book so the next book i read in august was raw by cora carmack so this book was the book pick of the month for the book club that i have started with a couple of my friends and I cannot believe I chose the worst book ever as our first book. Because, ugh. So, this book is about this girl, the princess of the realm, and her mother is the queen, and she, like, can stop storms or something. And But the princess doesn't have any magic powers. 
So she runs away to try and steal these magic powers because she's like, oh my God, you can steal them? Like, I need that so I can show my mom I'm still like the good princess, good daughter that she wants. Also, she runs away because this guy has been like proposed to her so that then the guy has like storm abilities and it's just the book. I thought it was going to be a fantasy book but was more of a romance book and I just did not like that at all. And also there's two romances in this book, right? And she leaves the first one and because she sees that he's a dick and she leaves it. But she goes to someone who's practically exactly like him and but like I feel like he's even worse. <sighs> I did not like Locke at all. He just thought Raw was his property. He kept thinking of his sister when he looked at her, but then he was like all over her. And I'm like, are you like kissing your sister? Is that is that your thing? But, mm. Yeah, he just thought like Raw like needed to be owned. This book was the first book that made me want to grab a pen and write in it. And like if I annotated books and annoying bits that I didn't like was blue, all of these pages would be blue. I was in the middle of McDonald's drinking a coffee when I read this one part and I wanted to throw it across and into the deep fryer. I gave this book two stars. Also in August, I read Every Heart of Doorway by Shauna McGuire. This was a nice light and fluffy read to get um, back into my reading groove from that horrendous book that I read before. I gave this book four stars. I don't think it deserves all the hype that it got. I was expecting something mind-blowing. It wasn't mind-blowing. Like, it was nice. And I really think she could have explored more into it. I'm going to pick up the other books because I'd like to see how all of this works. Um, but I think the next book is like a prequel and then the third book, I don't even know who the third book is about, it was really enjoyable and like I read it in a day because it is so little. I gave this book four stars. Last book I read in August, which I actually listened to, was The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee and it was so good. Like I loved it so much. I loved the adventure. I loved the action. I love Monty. Monty is my precious little baby and I don't want him to, I don't, I don't want anyone to hurt him. Like he was sarcastic and he was funny and he is the bi representation that we need in books. Like it's just so good. And I love Felicity and I love Percy. I didn't read much about this book before I went into it. So I just thought like they were going to go and tour and we we're just going to read about like what they see throughout the continent. But then the highwaymen come and then all the action just goes from there and I just loved it. I was here for it. I gave this book five stars and I really want everyone to pick it up. If you have read any of these books as well, just tell me in the comments below what you thought of them because I'd like to chat about all of these books that I read because I've got so many thoughts and feelings on them. What was your favorite book that you read in August? I'd love to hear about it. So those were all the books that I read in the months of July and August. I'm not gonna pick them up because last time I picked up books, they all just drunk everywhere. I really enjoyed July and August. Thank you so much for watching all of this if you're still here because I know that was been a long and windy ride. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like to see more. Add me on Goodreads at Sash Reads and on Bookstagram at Sash Reads as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>